But tonight's top story comes from the Supreme Court, where it seems that the showdown over the hijab, whether a hijab can be worn in schools, is far from over. A two-judge Supreme Court bench gave a split verdict today on the Karnataka campus ban on the hijab. While Justice Himan Gupta ruled in favor of a ban, Justice Sudanshu Dhulia struck down the ban. The petitions against the hijab ban will now be heard by a larger bench of the Supreme Court. What happened in the court is our top story tonight. After 10 months of tumult and face-off, which ignited passion and legal fight, the hijab stalemate is here to stay. The two-judge Supreme Court bench has delivered a split verdict on if campuses can allow Islamic hijab over prescribed uniform. Justice Sudhan Shudhulia set aside the Karnataka High Court judgment and quashed the Karnataka government's hijab ban order on February 5. He held that the entire concept of essential religious practice was not apt for the dispute. Justice Dhulia added that only education of girl-child matters. Justice Heman Gupta, on the other hand, upheld the Karnataka High Court verdict, which approved Karnataka government's campus hijab ban. Justice Gupta also raised 11 critical questions on the issues of essential religious practice, rights of students, and the government. While Justice Hemant Gupta in his analysis has gone into all issues including essential religious practice and the right of the government to formulate rules, Justice Sudhan Shudhulia has said that this is not about essential religious practice. It is about the freedom of expression and freedom of choice of religion. And effectively it is also about education of girls particularly in poorer rural areas. With no stay by the top court on the Karnataka High Court judgment and the Supreme Court being split, the High Court endorsed ban on hijab in campuses with uniform will continue. The 26 petitions that have been filed before the Supreme Court challenging the Karnataka High Court order which had imposed the ban will now be placed before the Chief Justice of India so that the matter can be referred to an appropriate three-judge bench. The three-judge bench is likely to decide on two key aspects. Number one, as to whether or not a ban on hijabs in educational institutions should be allowed to continue in Karnataka as is the case now. And number two, whether this is a case that is fit to be referred to a nine-judge constitution bench to determine whether wearing of hijab is essential to the religious practices of Islam. As the battle shifts to a larger bench, a longer legal war may be on the cards. With Anisha Mathur and Nalini Sharma in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today.